Hey guys, so it's Amy again. Um, as you can see, I'm all painted up. Um, I got really bored today before work. Well, I haven't even started getting ready for work. But anyways, I got really, really bored. So I decided to take some new photos for my Facebook and my DeviantArt. And I decided to dress up as a zebra. So this is going to be a little tutorial of how to become a zebra, I guess. <laughs> Enjoy! Okay, so what you're going to need is a sponge wedgie thing, um, a, paint, a fine paintbrush, uh, a blush brush, you know, you... <laughs> um, you're going to need a plastic or foam plate, uh, baby powder, uh, this white hairspray stuff for your hair, you need white face paint, black face paint, black eyeliner. I'm wearing two sets of false lashes for upper and lower. You will need your eyeliner, your one mascara that you favorite the most, and your hairspray. hairspray. Okay, so the first thing I did was my hair. Um, so all I did was I like, crawled out of bed and everything. It's best with like before you shower kind of thing because then it, it works and then I'm obviously going to be showering after. And uh, you just back comb your hair, like just everywhere. And then you just, I take, I think, four bobby pins in. And then you just take bobby pins and you bring your hair up and you pin it. Like you can see, I don't know if you can, but there's a bobby pin there. And then, so you spike it up and I just keep hairspraying. And then I pull it while I hairspray. So that also works. So step two is painting your face white. So obviously I use the sponge wedge and then I just dab it with the white face paint and I let it dry and then I do a couple more layers, so about two, three layers, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then I take this blush brush and I take baby powder or a really, really white powder and then I powder my face to make it stay and then I let it sit and then I'll do another coat if I really feel like I have to just to make everything all even and you will get something that looks like Okay, so step three is putting on the eyelashes. So you use your tweezers, if it's easier for you, and you always put on from the outer corner and on towards the inner eye kind of thing. And um, when putting on the lashes, the my upper ones with the glue, it depends on the glue you have as well. My old glue didn't sting or bug my eyes or anything, but this new glue eyelash glue that I have, it did sting my eyes, especially my bottom lashes. Um, it was burning and my eyes were watering and stuff, so if you have really sensitive eyes, try not to like use it if you don't feel comfortable using it, um, but once the glue dries, it's completely fine, and also do not get the glue in your eyes. It will look, it just, ouch. <laughs> Okay, so after you have your eyelashes on and stuff, number four is to paint on the stripes. Now you can paint them any way, like when I first did this, I did this for Halloween as well, and I just had stripes coming down here and down there, and they split off, and I had a black nose, and you know, you can add things that you want to add, and then I do have a sports bra on, by the way, so just in case you guys are wondering. And then you just go down, and you can make it go down, you can make them connect, you can make them separate. I have some going starting from my jawline and going up which gives it kind of a nice effect I have odd ones I got lines it's just whatever floats your boat pretty much for that and then you'll end up like something like this so step five is just putting like I use a bed sheet so you just, I have a black bed sheet and I just hang it from my roof and my tripod and I set it in front of the big window uh, and this beautiful lighting, like I'm not using any lamps or anything like I normally use and then you just take the pictures and you photoshop them, edit them and stuff and then yeah, whatever floats your boat. So I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial and it's pretty simple and straightforward and I gotta go take this off now. So talk to you later. See ya.